close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Llamascapes. I've been doing only archaeology so far today on day eight, and here's the completion of Zerosian 1 to get me the uh, item I need for the relic power that increases reputation gain. Not incredibly useful, but I will be using it for the time being, as it will be helping out with my uh, Mazcap reputation, getting closer to those rerolls for raids later on. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of actually editing the Day 7 video, but uh, there is 40 archaeology, which is a little bit of a milestone. Uh, it doesn't really say it here, but this is when you get the first, like, profession improvement from intern to associate or something. Um, oh, and I just got my lesser demon mask. Nice. That, uh, that'll actually finish up my Zamorakian uh, collection. And as mentioned, this is finishing the Zamorakian one set, uh, which gives me the Abyssal Thread. Uh, now, if you don't know what this is, this is a super useful relic, okay? It means that you can go purchase a massive pouch from Runespan, and it will never degrade. R Runecrafting through the Abyss is absolutely nuts with this. Um, definitely going to be doing that later on in my RC grind. And here I have to sacrifice my giant pouch with this abyssal thread to combine it to make the threads of fate, and then I offer the relic to unlock it. Uh, also, sorry if there's any lag here. Uh, I am rendering the video that I just edited. Uh, but yeah, pouch protector unlocked when using runecrafting pouches. They will never degrade. Um, oh yeah, and I definitely didn't just, just miss out on a cache. Um, because I was editing or anything. I'm a professional. Professional scaper. Though I do think for the time being... I'm, I'm not going to enable pouch protector. Uh, for sure. Um, but considering chronotes don't seem that difficult to get. I'm just going to enable unexpected diplomacy. Uh, so that my Nimi forest runs give me a little faster reputation. Uh, the, the plan is currently... Once I get a little more settled. Um, at least having you know T75 weapon equipped. Lunar gear equipped. Uh, and then probably something like Devotion Unlocked. Um, I will be doing uh, at least Beastmaster runs uh, every few days in raids. Um, I'll, I'll be kind of leeching it, but I think a, a team full of T75s could probably take down Beastmaster on his own. Uh, so it's not as much of a leech, I don't think, uh, at least not in my opinion. But, you know, this time around I am going to be a little more open to that sort of content. Um, so having this get me to the reroll just a few days faster will be quite beneficial. Oh, and I have uh, three of these to hand in, a Dungeoneering, Archaeology, and Farming Daily, all three extended, and uh, all three of these are pretty good from what I understand. I know that Dungeoneering was uh, nerfed a little bit uh, at some point in the past, but I believe Farming are really good. Uh, so, yeah, claim rewards, and I got a few levels, right? Let's see, two Dungeoneerings and a Farming. Holy shit, what? <laughs> okay, well, um, 50,000 XP? I, I guess, I guess the luck is back, huh? <laughs> Uh, so I spent practically the entirety of day eight working on archaeology, got up to level 51, very nearly level 52, and what this has provided me, uh, aside from, hey, learning that I can expand my bank, uh, is that one, hand of glory, and two, hand of glory, and what these are used for are luck relics to go in the monolith here, um, Ultimately, I'm going to have to get my crafting level up before I can craft the Ring of Wealth to put in here. Uh, but, you know, it provides a lot of value, giving a permanent effect of Tier 2 luck no matter where you are. Um, this will help, I mean, stack up Clue Scrolls, which I may care about later. Um, more importantly, though, it'll provide luck for 
just about all of the bosses that I face. Um, if I end up going to God Wars dungeon, it'll be relevant there. Uh, it'll be relevant in getting my dragon hatchet not too long from now. Um, and it's also relevant at a ton of Slayer monsters. I think all monsters up to level 80 are affected by this. So uh, if, if I remember correctly, that is all of the Slayer helmet parts and, uh, you know, other important drops that you can get from Slayer. Um, yes, so very important unlock, at least in my opinion. It also effectively took zero time, given that you're going to have to grind archaeology at some time, uh, at some point anyway. So the next step is to get my dungeoneering up. Uh, that also helped get my magic up some, because magic needs to be uh, at least be able to be boosted to 68 to enchant the ring. Uh, and then I'm going to work with mining some gem rocks to get my crafting all the way up to uh, to my goal. To start off day nine, we picked up, yeah, 1300 total level, making good progress. Just over 3 mil XP too, uh, though I had that last night. And we got the worst room, so it's actually the first time I'm going to straight up just reset my dungeon. I haven't missed this. And wow, it has been a productive day. I managed to get my current DG goal of the gym bag, and I'm able to afford the gym bag upgrade, though I don't quite have the crafting level yet. Next steps are to determine if I'm going for 70 mining and smithing or 80 mining and smithing, because pairing mining gym rocks with the gym bag is how I plan to get my crafting up, at least for the most part. So there is this small quest associated with Erwinson on, uh, yeah, on Anachronia that's called Father and Son. It's a mini quest. It just gives you a medium hunter lamp, but hey, that, that can be useful at times, because uh, if I use this, bam, there's 53 hunter, which is the level I need to catch, uh, if I hit, if I actually just hit it. Yeah, there we go. I can box trap normal Tinchapas to train my ranged with, um, yeah, I I worked a lot on mining today and some smithing. I got like 600 rune bars banked. I worked on crafting a little bit. And I'm finally just going to, you know, nail down, get my uh, my chinchampas for POF, get deadliest catch done. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, really start to, to crank up the, uh, the farming XP per day. And ending day nine with a divination level that actually gets us past... 4 million overall XP. That's a, uh, that's a pretty good pace so far. Also got up to 57 Hunter, hunted about 335 Grey Chins, uh, probably something like 200 catches on Viridian Chins just before that, so coming up on around a third of the drop rate for an unchecked animal. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'll get there. I think I'll end up getting both of them by like, you know, 60, uh, upper 60s or middle 70s. Um, but, you know, here's hoping, right? Well, there's me picking up level 63 Hunter here on day 10. And yeah, it's time to move on to Red Chins. Up to 1158 of these Grey Chins. And I caught probably, I had probably 200 catches at Viridians before this. It's like 1350. And I, and I don't have a single POF, POF animal yet. Unfortunate, but uh, we, uh, we soldier on. So I'm either very close to the drop right now or just past it, uh, sitting at about 1,500 catches. And I've realized that, um, you know, I, I have kind of a game plan sorted out. So I'm going to stay here until probably 73 or 74 Hunter. Uh, if I see one Shin by that point, then I might just stick it out to 75 and, and see what happens. Uh, if I don't see any by that point, then I'm definitely going to go to Corpse Spiders immediately after and train my attack up there. Um, well, there'll be some other stuff that goes into it. Uh, but but even if I do get two chins, I think I am still going to go with Spiders, though I don't need to do it as immediately. Um, I think regardless, I need to get either a pair of chins or a pair of Spiders uh, to kind of ensure that my farming is going to keep up pace. Uh, for me to be able to, you know, max by the, uh, you know, within the time frame that I've set. So, yeah, so that's kind of the game plan. Either we go for uh, two unchecked chins, two spiders, or both if I can actually get, uh, you know, decently lucky here. Uh, getting up to level 73 should be about another 2,600 catches. So that's a, that's a pretty good chance of seeing two chins. 
just uh, came to RuneSpan to do my RuneSphere for the day, and I just found the person with the most self-control I have ever seen. All of these skills are 98, except for thieving, herblore, construction, and runecrafting. Dude, <laughs> they, they just can't wait to pop off in chat spam, can they? <laughs> well, with this catch, we are hitting our immediate goal of 67 Hunter, and I still don't have the animal. I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna keep grinding it out until I either hit like level 74 or just get straight demotivated. <laughs> um, I've realized that if I get one animal, there's a pretty good chance that with a week of uh, working with the trapper in player owned farms um, three times a day for a week, uh, there's a pretty good chance that you'll run into a second chin champa of any variant, uh, which means that as long as I get one red chin, that I can get one of any other variant and breed out red chins, um, which is really valuable because these are a good source of like ranged XP. Uh, yeah, so I, it would be ideal if I had two of these uh, and I can get there as long as I get as long as I get the first one. So really, that's all I'm holding out for. So I'm up to about 2,000 catches on the 1 in 1,500 drop rate. We're going to go to like 4,000 and see what happens. Okay, they do exist. We finally got one at 68 Hunter. So this is my this is my total. I decided to put it in my inventory just so I know. So that's, you know, uh, 2,300 on me and probably 200 before. So 2,500, you know, it's pretty dry, but... Let's see if we can get a second one by the time I get to, like, level 74. That's the idea I have in mind. Uh, 74 plus quest rewards gets you 75 for Big Game Hunter, which will eventually get you 76 for the Lord of Vampirium. So I'll either end up at 74 or 75. I'm not sure which. And here we are on day 11, starting off with 70 Hunter, our first level 70 skill. And we can now start earning the hunter fragments to work towards the uh, elite skilling outfit. So I just learned that they made the wealth evaluator free for everyone. And when I clicked it, I saw, wait, my inventory is worth like nine mil. Oh, uh, oh, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth, it's worth like nine mil. <laughs> oh, I think it's worth mentioning that at this point in the grind as well, just a few minutes after that last clip, I've broken a million Hunter XP, actually a million fifty thousand, um, and I only have about five million overall XP. So not only is Hunter my first skill past 70, it has a fifth of my total XP so far. I'm, I'm dying inside. On the plus side, though, having like 3,000 red chins is probably going to get me all the way to the, uh, at least pretty close to the level 75 range requirement for Prif, so... I, I guess that's a plus. Oh, wow. Okay. Finally. So the first one was female and glorious, by the way. Absolutely glorious child. Male? Nice. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Banjo and Bluebell. That's, that's so perfect. All right. Well, time... Uh, Time to get going, and um, yeah, I mean, okay, I guess I'll finish off 74 Hunter here, then I'm going to go do uh, do the spider thing at some point, um, but I know I, I have some other more immediate goals that I want to take care of. Oh, I actually just remembered, no, I shouldn't keep doing chins until uh, like level 75 or so, whatever my goal was. I need to go and do... Uh, Charming Moths to get my Yak Twee stick. That's right. Uh, so that that will be where I go. But I'm I'm straight sick of Hunter now. That can wait until I actually need to get the level for a quest requirement. We're gonna do other things. And once this door pops open, we will hit a milestone. All right, there we go. 50 thieving, uh, but actually 1,400 total level milestone. So. Halfway there, right? First clip of day 12, and there is completion of a guild of our own. The last caper for uh, 
yeah, the last caper for the Thieves Guild unlocks safe cracking. So I have 62 thieving, and that might turn into 90 in the next clip. We'll see. I've also been working on smithing passively uh, and just kind of like waiting for my, my baby chin chompas to grow up. All right, not straight to 90 by any means, but there's 76 grinded out. So up to the next tier of safes, which are in Asgarnia, uh, which also go at like 400k an hour or something like that. Um, and you use those all the way to 83, I believe. So that's like, yeah, about three and a half hours. So next thing is back to questing, I think. Okay, this is perhaps the most bizarre bug I've ever seen, but um, I'm also, uh, I'm very disturbed to, s to see this. <laughs> what, what, what is this? Well, I went a little overboard with how many uh, rune burial sets I ended up making. Just got level 70 smithing though, so there is Necronium unlocked. Um, definitely considering just going straight for 80, uh, that way I have the one of the three requirements for invention out of the way, but not quite sure. Oh, and uh, on the whole questing thing, I'm, I'm sure I'll get to that at some point. Something I don't think I've mentioned much before is that I do spend a fair amount of time in the Soul Obby uh, friends chat. Uh, I do my scarabs every single day, normally about uh, 40 or 50 of them. Um, and I'm also getting my Minifos reputation up so that eventually I can get like the, the tier 10, you know, magic carpet skilling buff. Uh, and, and tier 9 for Fight Club. Uh, so yeah, I, I do Soul Obelisk from time to time when they're convenient. Uh, and I'm up to, yeah, about 44,000 Minifos reputation. And we have achieved 70 mining, so I can now go make myself a Necronium Pickaxe. I can do Doric's Last Task, which is going to get me a fair amount of smithing XP. Uh, and, and all kinds of other things that you can do with Necronium, right? I can make myself some, some better armor for melee and whatnot eventually. Uh, also, concentrated coal is uh, decently useful, I believe. And while I did previously have a goal of 64 crafting, I'm just going to stick with 61 for now, given that I did end up making my, uh, my current mining and smithing goal. Uh, I have a little bit more in terms of gems to cut here. Uh, but anyway, I think that is going to end off the episode. Those were... Long enough grinds for me. Yeah, I gotta churn out some more content. So I'm gonna go buy all the video. Boom. Upload it. See y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, take care.